Jacob Rees-Mogg, if regarded as fictional, a perfectly enjoyable character, but the fact that Jacob Rees-Mogg is a real person in the real world talking about real issues, i.e. Grenfell, causes constant consternation and in this instance conflagration. I'm of course referring to Rees-Mogg's comments that uh, people should have used common sense in the towering blaze of Grenfell and evacuated the building. I think if either of us were in a fire, whatever the fire brigade said, we would leave the burning building. It just seems the common sense thing to do. Firstly, let's recognise that Grenfell functioned as a kind of visual catalyst for our understanding of class attitudes, attitudes towards migrants, stratified life value. It was a biopolitical event. The people in Grenfell Tower were not valuable. That's what's come to the surface through the analysis, through the inquiry. These people, because they were a certain background, were not protected in the way they would have been if they came from another background. And this is obviously not confined to Grenfell. This is an endemic, global, cultural attitude that simply awaits for events like Grenfell to reveal itself. Tsunamis in countries of mostly black and brown people, have a, you know get more news like less newsprint than events that you know affect different communities so for what happens i believe when reese mogg says that is it compounds that sense that there is presumed inferiority that's why there's resonance because we can have some sympathy to anyone in the public eye who might on lbc say something and they go, oh god i didn't really mean that you know jacob reese mogg is a human being and worthy of love as all human beings are but the fact that what he says seems to be in line with what the event itself demonstrated these people don't matter these people are inferior these people are not worth protecting in a sense establishment power requires the maintenance of continued untruths and the truth is always trying to push through like sometimes in a lurid livid blazing event such as Grenfell certain people's lives are not important no no that's not the problem no that's not the problem it was it's just administrative administrative and bureaucratic issues that caused this and it won't happen again and there'll be a full inquiry but the truth continually trying to realize itself a truth that we all well know and we all understand and we all accept some lives are more valuable than others some people will get opportunities that other people won't perhaps we're all on a scale perhaps i as a white male am afforded opportunities you know, no question i've had conversations with lots of people that would just would not hesitate to tell me whether it's sort of um, my man kahindi andrews a professor of black studies at birmingham of course you get opportunities as a white person in england or scarlett curtis of course as a man you get opportunities that a female don't get so, you know, when you take it to the Grenfell extreme, people with no economic opportunity, people that have been sidelined, marginalised, discarded, they're sort of waiting for the inferno. They're waiting for the inferno. All of us tolerate, to varying degrees, homelessness, street sleepers. We all walk by on the other side, step over, because it's impossible for us, it seems, to adopt truly sociable attitudes of whole, oh, like we're all here together, we're all tribally affiliated and connected, we are indeed all one. Our culture does not message on that basis or on that level. It tells us that we are here to compete with one another, that other people's success is a challenge to your own success, that some people are taking away from you. That there is such a thing as Great Britain and people coming into Great Britain is a threat to Great Britain and there are other people in Great Britain that are allowed to come in because of economic reasons. I don't even necessarily mean people, I mean organisations and institutions that are protected and preserved and given some granted tax status that's privileged. So in a way, Grenfell is a sort of semaphore, an emblem, a symbol, an event that burned through ignorance and unawareness and required that the establishment create a facade as inflammable as the one that surrounded that tower in order to preserve the truth that that fire revealed the truth being some lives are irrelevant so when jacob reese mogg a politician who has come to exemplify the disparity between the privileged the educated and the uh, underserved and the uh, undereducated with his loose lounging in Parliament, his, I think, quite admirable uh, loquacity, uh, 
when he says something, it ha it's sort of like a bullseye. Because it's like, oh, now there's that dude from Eton saying, well, it's common sense, isn't it? And they think if you or I are in a blaze, what would we do? Warm a crumpet over a fag's bottom. Fag's a word for boarding school kids back in the day. I'm using vernacular, baby, not hate speech. So it seems to, yeah, it has a certain momentum because truth has been unconsciously revealed. The truth that, you know, not Jacob rees but the entire establishment paradigm is based on certain lives being more valuable than others. And if you don't know that, you don't know much, baby. Have a, if you like that, have a look at my Trues playlist where I was always harping on about politics, sometimes controversially, occasionally downright wrong, but always authentically. Thanks.